Hi, Robert here. Have you ever been in a situation where you need to email a file to a friend or a colleague, but the size of the attachment is bigger than your mail provider allows? Well, today I'll show you a free and simple way to overcome this limitation. So, let's get started. Okay, so first of all, you need to log into Google. So go to google.com and then click on sign in. If you already have a Google account, then sign in here. If you don't, then click on create account and choose for myself. Enter your first name and your last name. And then choose a username for your email address. And then choose a password. And click next. Put in a mobile phone number which will be needed to verify the account. next when you get the text verification code enter that here and then click verify You can choose a recovery email address if you want to, but this is optional. And then enter a date of birth. And choose your gender and then click next. Click skip here and express personalization. You can set the rest of this up later on. And click next scroll down to the bottom and click confirm and scroll down to the bottom again and click I agree once you've done that then go over here to the Google Apps and select drive once you've selected drive you can now drag and drop the files that you want on Google Drive just by highlighting and dragging across. Once the upload is complete, we can then share these files. So there's two ways of doing this. First, Right click on the file or group of files that you want to share. Click on share. You can then either add the email addresses of the people that you want to share it with or you can share it with anybody by just uh, giving them a link. So if we change this to anybody you will see that the permission has been changed. So we can now copy this link And we can now go into our email program. Next we create a new email. Put in the name of the person that we're sending it to. Enter a subject. send. When the recipient receives the email all they need to do is click on that link and then they'll be presented with the following page. So you just highlight the file that you've shared, click download
When it's downloaded, you'll find the file in the location that you saved it to. That's it. It's quite a straightforward process. In this example, I use Google, but you can use other services such as Microsoft OneDrive, Dropbox, Sync, etc. If you're going to be sharing sensitive documentation though, be sure to password protect or encrypt these files before you upload them to any cloud-based storage service. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing and clicking the bell icon to receive notifications when I upload new content. Thanks for watching.